and you guys are over here with these monkeys, like Dingleberry or Hobbit. You want to take the challenge? How many think that Michael Hearn could beat Coach Craig in a bike race? And we'll compare my blood work to yours, and we'll say, which do you think has the healthier blood work? I am 100% down to do this. Coach Greg, in today's video, Michael Hearn calls me a monkey and a hobbit yet again. He says anyone with a physique worse than mine, because mine is so bad, just means they have a below average physique. I at least thought I had a mid physique. I mean, that's what the people are telling me. I mean, no woman under the age of 40 would ever be interested in me, right? I mean, that's what I'm told, but yet I guess I'm not even mid. Apparently, I'm below average. Anyone with a physique that's not better than Coach Greg, that just means you have a below average physique. And so we're gonna show this video. And now it's like, you'll kind of like not watch anybody deadlift anymore because you're like, yeah, dude, it's... Nobody wants to deadlift Yeah, that's true too, though. Yeah, that's a good point. He says nobody wants to deadlift anymore. And so they're saying that no one wants to deadlift anymore, yet I've seen more people deadlifting now than I have in my entire life. It seems every other day you see some new young up-and-comer, a teenager lifting 800, 900 pounds. It's incredible. And so, in fact, what they're saying is the exact opposite of what's going on. Do they really think that all the exercise gurus are telling everyone to stop deadlifting? Or are there more people deadlifting than ever before? And in case you're wondering, I've coached people for years and many of them have had squats, deadlifts, bench press on their training programs, done this for years. Because uh, your guys' gurus that look like shit say the deadlifts are bad. No, they're not bad, they're just not optimal, Mike. And so apparently Mike says, you know, you guys as gurus, they all look like shit and they're saying deadlifts are bad. I don't know which one of us are gurus and which one are not. Obviously, he's referring to Coach Greg, at least in part in this video, as he refers to me later in the video. But is he saying that guys like Mike Isratel or Jeff Nippert or Jeff Cavalier, that all the coaches around the world all are against deadlifts and they all look like shit? Really? Is that what you're saying? He's, he's just talking about how I'm going to absolutely destroy some of these... 30 year old gurus that talk about training and they're not even in shape anymore. Walk the walk, friends. And so Mike is saying, I'm gonna be destroying these 30 year old gurus because they're not in shape anymore. They're saying, walk the walk. Well, A, I'm not in my 30s, I'm 48, and perhaps I don't walk the walk because I prefer cycling. Let's see how Mike would look after racing bikes. How many think that Michael Hearn could beat Coach Craig in a bike race? I'll spot him 10 miles. You want to take the challenge? I could race Mike on Zwift. We'll enter his body weight as a 125-pound female. I'll write in 185-pound Coach Craig. We'll divide his weight in two. The heavier you are, the slower you go on a bike. We'll divide his weight in two. We'll have a bike race. Can you, in fact, keep up? I don't think so. And so, Mike, who's actually in shape? And how are we judging fitness? Are we going to judge it by blood work? Because I will certainly hand off my blood work to an independent advisor. And we'll compare my blood work to yours. And we'll say, which do you think has the healthier blood work? An independent person can look at the blood work. Our names will be off the list. And they'll say, which blood work do you think is better? Which seems healthier? I am 100% down to do this. And you know why? And at any time, well, because I can prove that I'm not abusing performance enhancing drugs. You'll see my testosterone levels always within range, never even bordering on too high. And what do you think we'll see for Mike? We'll analyze everything. Cholesterol, AST, SL, we'll look at all the markers. Who is healthier? Oh, but Mike is bigger than Coach Craig. He's a six foot two Chad. Coach Greg's shorter, therefore, he doesn't look good. And how could he possibly know anything because I'm bigger than him? I mean, after all, anyone who's bigger than someone else is clearly more knowledgeable. Sam Sulik, at close to six feet tall, 235 pounds, clearly knows more than anyone who's shorter and smaller than him. It's not how it works, guys. Just because somebody's bigger than someone else or stronger doesn't mean they're more intelligent or that they're a better trainer. A millionaire talks about being a millionaire because he's made it, he's lost it, and he's made it back. What is he talking about? A millionaire can talk about being a millionaire because he's made the million dollars and lost it and then made it again? I'm a millionaire. I haven't made it and then lost it and made it again. I made it and kept it. Are you allowed to keep it? Do you have to lose it somehow and regain it in order to have any credibility? But he can continue to make it over and over again and he, and he can share his information to make others millionaires. Something the fitness world cannot do is most of the trainer, trainers cannot get themselves in shape. And if they do 
it's for a moment. What kind of analogy is this? He's saying, hey, the fitness world, the coaches, they can get themselves in shape briefly, but they can't stay in shape. And so how can you listen to them? I just ate a massive meal. I'm going to do a bike race after recording this video. Do I look like I'm consistently in shape? And so when Mike calls me out, that monkey, that hobbit doesn't know anything, has a below average physique. What are you talking about? And they can't stay in shape, but they can teach all of you how to get in shape. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. That's again, sarcasm for you mentally slow people. And so that was all sarcasm for you mentally slow people because Mike O'Hearn is brilliant. He's clearly a genius. I don't know how many years he spent in university. Clearly he's such a genius. He didn't have to attend. They gave him his PhD. He didn't have to study. He just showed up, said, I'm Mike O'Hearn. I'm a good looking chat. Gave him that glancing stare, the Mike O'Hearn stare to that song in the background. And so Mike O'Hearn, he's great at being a meme, but is he really all that intelligent? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Maybe it's all an act. Great. Mike can do seven reps with partial range of motion with not the greatest form and get the set over faster than the last time. I didn't see great mind-muscle connection. I didn't see full range of motion. I didn't see very much tut time under tension. And so if this is a great exercise for Mike, then so be it. He can train his shoulders with a behind the neck press. It hurts me to do it. I wouldn't do it personally. I wouldn't recommend it, but hey, it works for him. Does that mean he's a better trainer? Because he can behind the neck press more weight than I can because he's taller? The reason why we're gonna do that is because it's annoying that I got somebody that I train with that's brilliant. And so the reason he's doing behind the neck presses is because he has a brilliant training partner. You know, his training partner is brilliant. Unlike the rest of us. Like Coach Greg, for example. It's not just him, there's other guys out there that are just brilliant what they do. And so you'd think he'd say, hey, it's not just guys like him. There's other people brilliant out there, like Coach Greg, for example. I know he's a manly and I like to poke fun of him, but he's a very intelligent trainer. I mean, have you seen the guy? He's 48 years old. He's single digit body fat. He's racing bikes. He's only on 140 milligrams of test a week. He's preaching the good word. He's trying to get people in shape and motivated to do 150 minutes of cardio a week to put the fork down. You know, guys like that, I recommend you follow him. But, but no, he can't do that. He can't do that at all. Instead of that, he's going to try to belittle me. And you guys are over here with these monkeys, these, these tool bags that talk about stuff, <laughs> like Dingleberry or Hobbit. He calls me a monkey and a tool bag. I mean, I was a stripper once back in the day, did dress up as a carpenter. You know, I had the tool bag, the whole thing, doing my little dance. It was a good time. But I don't think I'm a tool bag right now, Mr. Michael Hearn. They absolutely can only regurgitate stuff. They can't implement anything in their own lives. All I'm good for is regurgitation. I mean, I have such a great memory. I mean, I have no trouble remembering names. And when I talk in these videos, it's clearly scripted. I'm reading a prompter right there. Like, all I do is I read a script. Someone writes it for me. I have no information to come from within. Never. And I can't apply it to myself. I mean, look at my physique. You've seen how fat I am. And all. I have no fitness whatsoever. I mean, I'm a horrible example for all those younger people out there. I mean, if I'm an example of what you should look like if you want to be below average, then what are you telling the rest of the world? What are you saying, Mike? You're going to get people body dysmorphia. Or there would be some kind of shadow or, or something there that you go, hey, this guy knows what he's doing. There's not. And don't do this. Don't go away. He's good. If he's better than you, then that means you're probably below average. <laughs> I mean, he says it with just the funniest look on his face. I have the screen paused and looking at him. If he's better than you, it means you're below average. But I'm discouraging because I tell you to get halfway there, the dream physique, you know, trying to have unreal expectations. You want to look like Chris Bump said so. Oh, maybe halfway there. That way you don't abuse performance enhancing drugs. But you have Michael Hearn in his 50s claiming to be 100% natural, not showing his blood work and saying, hey, listen to me. Let's do behind the neck shoulder presses for seven reps with improper technique. And let's see how you do. Why are you doing this, Mike? Why are you calling me a monkey? Why are you saying I'm a tool bag? Why are you calling me a hobbit? How is that helping you? I'll tell you how. Because you know that if I make a video, it's going to make you once again become relevant. Remember, 
Michael Hearn is even older than Coach Greg. And the fact that he looks like this, even with performance enhancing drugs, if he's in fact on them, we don't know for sure. But it's very impressive that he's able to do that. And he is smart enough to know that if he calls me a hobbit, if he makes fun of me, then I may in fact make a video about him and he might become relevant once again. Okay. So don't go. Oh, he's in good shape. He's not in good shape, guys. There's girls and guys walking around in here. 50, 60, 70 years old that are tenfold better than him. And so he says, don't go, oh, he's in good shape. Don't defend that coach, Greg. He ain't in good shape. There's girls in here in their 50s, 60s, and 70s that are in better shape than him. Tenfold better than him. And not just better, it's sorry, tenfold better, 10x. It's a lot. On the logarithmic scale, 10x, if you got an earthquake from a five to a six, it means it's 10 times stronger. It's logarithmic. Did Michael Hearn know that? I mean, I went to school, I literally taught science, I have a master's degree, but oh, I have no intelligence. I just read from a prompter script, I just regurgitate. Tenfold better. Him. Get out of your house. <laughs> and so then the camera zooms in on his partner and look at the face. He's like, just because I'm your partner, that doesn't mean that his words reflect mine. I don't believe that his partner thinks this at all. I believe that if I met his partner, he would say, Greg, I don't think these things are Mike. I actually think you're in quite in shape. I mean, you're 48. I don't see many people in their 50s, 60s, and 70s that are 10 times in better shape than you. 10 times 10x. It's a lot. Think of it, on the earthquake scale, 10 times more vibrations, more destruction. It's a lot. And so, <sighs> He's like, I, I don't have words. He's lost for words. He doesn't know how to respond to this. He can't believe Michael Horn just said what he said, but yet he said it. Absolutely incredible. I do believe that Michael Hearn's training partner is even stronger than him. And considering they're both 100% natural, it's just mind blowing the genetics that some people out there have. I mean, to think that both of these guys could get these physiques while being 100% natural, truly remarkable. Meanwhile, I'm lying about being on 140 milligrams of test a week. Clearly I'm on at least a thousand milligrams. How could you look like this on 140 milligrams? Yet, they're saying that it's 10x worse than most people in the gym in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, both males and females. I don't get it, Mike. I mean, I don't know what to say. On the one hand, my physique can't be achieved while only on 140 milligrams a week. That's what I'm reading. I'm reading that I'm lying about it. On the second hand, I have a below average physique. I have a mid physique at best. I don't know what to say to this. I mean, how can it be both? I mean, I'm okay with thinking it's one of the two, but how can it possibly be both? And it's fun to have a training partner that's not so frigid and locked down. And so just like Mike, I'm not frigid or locked down. I mean, are we talking about the bedroom right now? Frigid and locked down. I ain't frigid and locked down. And so when I go to the gym or a different gym, I'm traveling around the world and I see a new piece of equipment, something new I haven't tried before, I'm giving it a try. I don't have a predetermined exercise program every day going to the gym. I train my entire body. I do so about three times a week. About every three days, I'm training my entire body. I do whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever feels right. And I push myself. I try to train harder than last time. And so essentially me and Mike are the saying the same thing here. You can try out different exercises, explore, make the exercises fun. And so I believe that is a great message. If you enjoy the training that you're doing, you're going to be most likely to keep doing it. But why does Mike have to go and insult me and put me down in order to get his message across? Why does he have to do that? There you have it. Another video of wrapping up the chronicles of Mr. Natural himself, Mike O'Tren. Now, if you're trying to stay natural like Mike O'Hearn and his training partner, I would highly recommend Geo2Max and Turk Builder and or Acti Builder. These supplements, which are 100% natural, you won't lose your natty card. You can pass all the drug tests by WADA. You still are 100% natural. You can use these by getting to my website and entering code Greg to save yourself 15% off. Remember, these are my top selling supplements. And so please head over there faster than last time. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm, like the video if you in fact liked it. Please give me a comment. It helps the algorithm. Watch one of those two bloops. It supports the channel. You 
want to get more videos like this, of course, click the bell button to get notified. And remember, I have a free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages in length. Get over to my website, become one of the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. You're getting this training program for free. It took months to develop. Remember, it's got more information than last time. And as per usual, you know, I have several cookbooks, training books, and we've got a circle diet book to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life. And so I know I'm just a monkey or a tool belt or a hobbit or whatever, but there is in fact quality information from my website, my books and everything. So please purchase harder than last time. Code Greg, 15% off. And until next time, I am out.